welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm your host, Susie Selleck, and today we are in West Point, Ohio, at the John Hunt Morgan Surrender Site. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. The John Hunt Morgan Surrender Site is a place where, during the American Civil War, Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan, the leader of Confederate troops responsible for Morgan's raid, surrendered to Union troops following the Battle of Salineville. The site is located at a crossroads between the village of Gavers and West Point in Columbiana County, Ohio, about 60 miles northwest of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In June 1863, Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan took command of a force of 2,500 Confederate men in Kentucky. The purpose of the detachment was to recruit volunteers from the border state and to provide a distraction for Union General Ambrose Burnside, who was planning an invasion of Tennessee. Morgan's superior, General Braxton Bragg, specifically ordered Morgan not to cross the Ohio River into Union territory. Morgan disobeyed his orders, and from June 11th to July 26th, 1863, his troops conducted the raid in an area that ranged from Tennessee to northern Ohio. Morgan ransacked the countryside and disrupted telegraph and railroad lines as he moved north. In Columbiana County, fears increased as Morgan's raid approached. There were exaggerated reports that his force numbered as many as 10,000 men. The day before the surrender, residents of New Lisbon, Ohio, mobilized when they heard that Morgan was in Salineville in Columbiana County. The final armed engagement of the raid occurred around 8 a.m. July 26 near the border of Carroll, Columbiana, and Jefferson counties. As Morgan's troops approached, the New Lisbon militia dragged an old cannon from the Mexican War to block the road into town from the south. At around 11 a.m., word reached town that the rebels had routed the militia and were coming into town. Though the report was false, the militia members at the cannon allowed Morgan's army to pass unchallenged because they were afraid to engage them. Morgan encountered Captain James Burbeck, one of Lisbon's militia commanders, along the road. Morgan convinced Burbeck to allow him to surrender his command, provided Burbeck promised to take the sick and wounded soldiers and allow Morgan and his officers to be paroled so they could return home to Kentucky. However, Rue's troops gathered at Morgan's front and rear. Morgan sent a flag of truce with one of his soldiers to inform Rue that Morgan had already surrendered under favorable terms to Burbeck. Rue replied that he did not know who Captain Burbeck was and demanded that Morgan surrender to him immediately. An hour later, General James Shackelford arrived and also talked surrender terms with Morgan. When informed of Burbeck's parole of Morgan and his officers, Shackelford said it was not only absurd and ridiculous, but unfair and illegal. Until the end of his life, Shackelford took credit for capturing Morgan since Rue was under his command. Brew also continued to take credit. Morgan and more than 60 of his officers were imprisoned in the Ohio Penitentiary in Columbus. On the night of November 27, 1863, Morgan and six others escaped from the prison with a plan originated by Thomas Hines. Thank you for watching another episode of History in Your Own Backyard. Hope you enjoyed your time with us today in West Point, Ohio at the John Hunt Morgan Surrender Site. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.